Hey, howdy, howdy, howdy. Do a quick little video. Look at that sunset. Show you the camp. We're not done with camp, but we've been working on camp. Look at here. New clam. Um, rearranging things under the awning. This is our going through pile yet. Almost done with that. Most of that stuff goes in that storage. Uh, um, doing something with our hoses. Don't know yet. Becky's in there. Look at here. This is the clam. The new one. It's uh, a little bit bigger than the last one. But I'm over here 12 foot away from Becky. <laughs> well, she's 12 foot behind her there. You know, it's 12 by 12. Um, but very nice, very nice. Uh, this one even has panels for the door. The last one didn't have that. I'm turning around. You, these door panels. Pretty cool. We like it. Set out here at night. Look at that view. Right there. Look at the view. The sunset. Sit right here and watch the sunset every night. And over here is where the sun rises. So we sit here and watch the sun rise every morning. When we get up that early. Which isn't very often, unfortunately. There's a fly in here, I hear. More than one. Is there more than one? Yep. I see him. We're going to get our bug assault gun. Bang, bang. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we've been doing around camp. Getting a little more, a little more of it set up. Probably keeping the kitchen this way for a while. We got the toaster oven, the stove, the blackstone, and the propane to the rig, and the propane to cook on out here. Then of course we got the buddy heater inside. That gives us heat on them cold, chilly mornings. We'll give you a look around camp. A couple more rigs in here. We're about to have a fire. Got plenty of fire starter. It's our view. That's hoping that sunset get a little more red in it, but it didn't. The solar panels are very filthy. But it's going to rain here. It's going to rain hard. They're supposed to get how dirty they are because it's kind of have rained here and there off and on. Um, they're still working pretty good though. But yeah, it's supposed to rain. What did they say? Two years of rain? Two years worth of rain. Yeah. Two inches of rain Friday. Quartzite only gets about an inch of rain a year. I heard. So, um, two years worth of rain in one day. <laughs> Let's uh, show you guys the wash for you guys that haven't seen it, but there's a wash here back here behind us that's dry. But it won't be come this weekend. That's the wash. For anybody who don't know what one is, that's the wash. It's basically like a dry riverbed. But come this week, well, Friday mainly, um, they're saying possibly a half inch overnight, then the two inches on Friday. So uh, we'll see how much we get. But that will be flowing like a raging river and probably Let's see, on the coordinate water line down on that tree, last time water come through here, it looks like it was about three foot high. Maybe four. Yeah, maybe four. More like four. But this is the wash. And then there's another one that co comes into this one. All these empty into, uh, see there's another wash back here. Hopefully you can see that. All these empty into Tyson Wash, which is that way. And all the washes in quartzite, the main ones, flow from south to north. This one's flowing from 
east to west into the main wash. Got a little color back here. Got things to get rid of back here behind honey. That's the get rid of pile. It's a slow process because I'm just now getting back to 100%. Car's fixed. I don't see any exhaust hanging under that car anymore. So I got that done. We got the, more done in the camp. Uh, we did get the furnace out for where the solar batteries are going, the lithium batteries. We got that out. Getting ready to get back onto that project. Far, go as far as we go can go before we realize there's more stuff we got to order which there is I'm just ordering as we go I'm not one of those drop by plan people I can't I try it I can't do that some people can some people can't I'm one of the ones that can't I got to build as we go get as I need as we go it's easier for me that way for me anyway Others, they got to have it drawn out, which is fine. Nobody's alike. We see you in there. Let's see, can we see you? Just got no CM screen on it, too. Search your eyes. <laughs> it really messes with your vision. I don't remember the last one doing that, and it had no CM screen. That was bad. Yeah. We had an interesting incident today in the wash up here. The deep one, the one that splits off, we had a Class A get stuck in that. Ripped the oil pan off. Dumped six gallons of oil on the ground. We finally got it up out of there. It's still setting up there. Um, I usually don't go video people's demise. Uh, well, I can hold it for a little bit. But anyway, yeah, that's what went on there. See, this gimbal sometimes gets a mind of its own. But right up there. And then... That was this morning during our live stream, and then right after, not right after that, but here about an hour ago, another Class A went through there. He made it, but it took him a while to get through there, and I don't know if there was any damage done, but he's not stuck up there. But anyway, we're going to go eat dinner. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. Figured we'd show you around camp. Been a while. Here comes RVing with G, but we're out of here. It's time to eat. Later.